in Iran, and you should buy it. Um, Jackie Clark is the chemical compound with the formula KT, K2FeO4. This purple salt is paramagnetic and is a rare example of an iron 6 compound. In most of its compounds, iron has the oxidation state of plus 2 or plus 3. I bet most of you didn't know that. Um, reflecting its high oxidation state, FeO42 negative minus, I'm sorry, I wasn't, I'm not a chemist, is a powerful oxidizing agent. Jackie Clark, everybody. Yeah, discloses pent-up attributes. It is vague. It is a story of my person, my compass, guided by a piece of string. Situation relations, neck bone open to the sky. Touching is so abstract. The sky's face into the new window, meteorological cures, private nights, departure embrace before fleeing, before adjudicating gardens. Miles of scenic travel absenting the decade. Why betray the inner ocean? Why invite commentary? Or the inventory of unused powers? Whether to lay low or prowl? To let laurels rest where they deserve to rest? Formulas institute formulas, and love institutes love. For all the wandering, a stationary place pours out from within. What gut feeling strings out the lights? Testing every bulb, no matter what it is, always the train that carries me away. The door chimes impressed on the walls, my wall a projectionist's preference. Communication, reflexive and perfunctory, car wheels. There is perpetually nothing, the physical depth of holes in the ground, what geometrical figures outline my conversations. Cultural retaliation. Collecting social realities and reorienting in accordance. I do not know how to slow down the molting, how to steady my left hand on the notebook, a will with very little forethought. If I say I want to touch face, am I saying something more? Even my vocabulary doesn't know. If I say I want to touch eyes, what am I asking you to see? When the things at hand aren't properly identified, we use deterrence, make distractions, ignoring the framework at large. We make new friends, avoid journalism, expound private upon private, inch legs and arms closer to other legs and arms. The windowed room without direct sunlight, highlighting its high ceilings and receptionless space. What throat-clearing goal are we working toward? Images of faces behind books. Fabled romance, not actual. When does the primitive factor in? I do not know how to describe the philosophy of affect, taking every square peg and introducing it to circle, the first piece of magical. I cannot hear the spheres sing. The world, not populated with ghosts, but people who romanticize their transit, haunting and recontextualizing, never having been to the highest point of anything. All right, one more from this and then uh, one more new poem. Radial circumference, what asks to be rotated. I couldn't imagine the boxes being packed. Couldn't look in the closet once I knew they were there. The back entrance as your exit. 
wires dislocated from speakers. All of this while someone may or may not be looking over my shoulder. The air patterns here are so nauseatingly neutral. Everyone thinking thoughts to themselves. The moment of internalization. The moment of conception. What to do when you feel your heart is exploding into the mattress. It's punching into softness. The drone of the busted speaker. The music that exists in that drone. Where is the wholehearted heart? It's a province of immutables. Um, I'm actually going to read two more poems, and then I'm going to go. Um, this one's called A Poem About Heat. The sounds sound different in the snow, splicing riverbeds, getting the out out of my person. This facsimile of city streets, crossing avenues, our hands intertwined, wary of the romance. To write the romance, the biggest betrayal, how integrity can go awry. My lens is like catacombs. Please send new weather to improve the job of snow. Send direction to those who lack it. Anonymity to orphan children of light. We're all always writing our own inferno anyway. Please remember the order when the time comes. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. The inevitable conservative swing. In the meantime, I am down here with all the fastidious ones, signaling the brimming. The pen I've been taking to sleep with me. The dreams of yours I've been anthologizing. I carry fiction in my pockets. My hands happening in sections, not quite ready to keep my eyes open. Making calendars from the ocean's face. I can see somewhere a house. Um, thank you guys so much for listening. Uh, this last one's called um, Dear Self-Reflection. At this point, everyone is tired of New York. Their stacks of periodicals have they've been intending to read, making time for Coco, abolishing bad behavior, expecting everyone to stop being so self-congratulatory all the time. Perhaps it is an intimacy never to be regained that makes your beacon burn. The more you can break the fourth wall, the more the audience can be on stage with you. You will never have to be alone, even when you are. You can have a chorus of legionnaires, each one painted more devoted than the next, until they start ducking out one by one before the curtain calls, and you realize that none of them had ever planned on staying until the end, which is tragic, but you pretend otherwise. Or maybe you don't. I don't know. I can't say anything with real certainty anymore. I've been trying to love you for so long. Thank you, guys. Woo!